Tulsa police arrested a man suspected of killing a woman at an RV park in northeast Tulsa. 2 News Oklahoma's Shay Smith was the first reporter on the scene and tells us what police and neighbors are saying. Today I spoke to residents at the Mingo RV park after police say they found a woman killed in her trailer early this morning. They do a good job with security here, and this is actually very unusual. Ann Pace has lived at the Mingo RV Park in Tulsa for two years. She says a major crime has never happened here. It's a pretty safe neighborhood. They do have good security here. They got cameras everywhere, and there's just never no problems. Jim Mills agrees. He's lived in the RV park for four years. Yeah, I left the house here about the... Uh, 8 o'clock this morning. It's nice, peaceful, and quiet, like always. But just an hour later, an RV near his became a crime scene. Police say a boss went to check on his employee who didn't show up for work. He didn't find the employee, but instead found a woman in her 40s dead. TPD contacted the Wagner County Sheriff's Office to help find the suspect after getting a lead. TPD says deputies found the suspect at a boat ramp at Fort Gibson Lake. When deputies approached him, they say he stabbed himself in the chest. Investigators haven't said what the relationship between the suspect and victim was, but several neighbors I spoke to told me they've seen a man and a woman around the RV. Pace says she's never noticed anything unusual between the two, but this wasn't the first time police were called out. They had been there before a few weeks back, so I kind of suspected. Mills and Pace both say despite what happened, they still feel safe. I don't worry too much about crime here. They have very, very good security, but uh, it is nice to know that they caught him immediately. Other neighbors I spoke to also say this is a pretty quiet area and they've never experienced a crime like this in the neighborhood. In Tulsa, Shea Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma. Thank you, Shay. Now, the suspect was taken into custody and is being treated at a local hospital. Police have not yet released the name of the suspect or the victim. 